Hello and welcome to Graphics TV. I'm your host Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a call to action button like the one you see on the screen. Okay, let's start by creating a new document. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to choose this dimension, uh, width of 800 and height of 500, and then click OK. We're going to start by creating um, some shapes. So I'm going to go to the Shape tool click and hold down and then select the rounded rectangle tool. Okay, so I'm going to click and just draw the button. Now I'm going to come down here and select new layer. We're going to draw our new shape. So I'm going to come down here again to the shape tool, click and hold and then come down to the custom shape tool. Now we need a triangle that's going to go with our button in this, in this case. Mine is already selected. But um, if your, if your um, shape is not selected, you need to click this little arrow and then just find the triangle, click once on it, and then just click away. Okay, so again, we're just going to click, holding down the shift key, I'm just going to drag like so. Actually, we might as well rotate it because it's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to press Control T or Command T on the Mac and then just rotate that and make it face the other way. So I'm just going to enter to apply. Okay, so now we need to um, add some color and gradient to this button. So I'm going to click this button and then double click on the layer and then we get our layer styles. Let's start off with the gradient overlay. So I'm going to click on the gradient overlay. We're going to go to gradient and then just click here to edit the gradient. Okay, we can either use these uh, default presets like for example you can just click on this one and you've got the color we can use this one or you can just you know just click through and see which one you prefer in this example i'm going to show you how to create a custom one i'm going to create on this first uh, preset and then we're going to choose our own colors so we're going to click on this color stop double click and then we're going to select a color so i'm going to go for a for a blue and then i'm just going to click okay on the other color stop, I'm going to double click and uh, select a blue, but I'm going to make it a bit lighter so we can have a nice gradient going on. And then I'll click OK and then just click OK. Now, if you're not happy with the direction of the gradient, what you can do is you can just click this button here, which says reverse. Just click once on it and then it reverses the gradient. OK, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go to stroke and I'm going to add a stroke. And then I'm going to go straight away to the size and make it one pixel. Okay, now the color, click once on the color and select a really dark blue. And then I'm just going to apply by clicking OK. Next, we need to add an inner, an inner glow. So we're going to come up here to the inner glow. We're going to change this color to white or a, a really light blue. So I'm going to set the foreground, glow, uh, the foreground of the glow by just clicking once and then selecting our blue. I mean, I'll go with that. Just click OK. And we're going to change the size to about, say, 3 pixels. And I'm going to lower the opacity to about, say, 60%. OK, I think we're fine with the button now. That looks quite nice. I'm going to click OK to apply all these changes. Now, uh, we need to drag this triangle and add it to our main design. So I'm just going to drag it to the center. OK, to change the color of that uh, triangle, I'm just going to double click on the layer thumbnail and then select just a white and then click OK. Right, um, the size of this uh, triangle is a bit too big, so I'm just going to hold the control key and then press T. So I'm going to hold one of these corners and then just drag in like so. Then just click enter. Now it's time to add our text. So you're going to go to the type tool and then click in the button and then we start typing. Um, for this button, we're going to say sign up for free. So I'm going to click the move tool just to drag the text to the uh, to the center of the, to the center of the button and uh, maybe we need to highlight this free to make it bold so we're going to come to we're going to come here and click bold okay we're almost done now so what I'm going to do now is just to make sure everything is aligned and labeled we're going to come to our first shape double click on that and just name that button and then we're going to go to shape 2 and call that triangle triangle so now what we're going to do is to make sure everything is in line, I'm just going to hold down the shift key and then just click on these layers and then go to this align tool, align vertical centers, and then just click once. 
and then that will just align everything. That's it. That's your your button. Okay, thanks for watching. Please head over to graphics.tv, that's G-R-A-F-X dot TV, and leave your comments, questions regarding this uh, tutorial. And um, you can also follow me on Twitter at M-A-K-1-7. Once again, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.